Ladies and gentlemen, people of the internet, my name is Odur Jagero and this is Dialogues with Jagero. I am going we are going to be talking about circumcision. Uh I don't know what it is called in in Luo. It's not in Luo. Right? Yeah, no circumcision idea. is called Nyange. Uh yeah, circumcision is called Nyange in Luo. Yeah. So, um so My friend Joe Jagak has been, or quite a lot on Facebook, as you know him, has been complaining a lot about uh, having gotten circumcised and things have gone very awry for him. <laughs> and <laughs> we would naturally not care, but he has, been make- <laughs> he has been making too much noise. And so we decided that we are going to be talking about this thing. And my uh-huh. story is almost the same. Uh, not the same, different actually. Uh, I got circumcised as an adult. And uh, it was not because I wanted to be better in bed or something, you know. I did it for health reasons. Mm. Because right? you, you hadn't started having sex. I, yeah, I didn't. I did not. So, so, so that is that is the difference that I'm having with Agak because Agak uh, got got cut, and then uh, suddenly things were really different <laughs> on bed, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't we're know how different they were. Man. So that's what we are going to be. T- <laughs> we are going to be very honest about this Agak because we are tired of your noise. <laughs> <laughs> right. I am with I am with I am with George Agak himself. Yes, the yes. The man who is going to be running a, you you started a foundation actually called Intact. Uh Intact in Funds. <laughs> Intact what? Intact in Funds. In Funds. Uh, yes. Okay, we are going to be talking about that. And yeah, then we have man. got Ricks. I don't know why Ricks is on this podcast, but I I imagine I imagine he's going to give us uh You talked you told me that there are women that uh, ask you if you are cut and if you are not cut probably they will not have sex mm, with you. Yeah. You said that. Yeah. And then we have David Aswani out of the set. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and he's going to give us a little bit of background on um how this is done when you are actually when you're young. Okay? So, uh my good man. Yeah, man. How did you end up getting circumcised? I I got circumcised first. Um it's 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 important to state when. Yeah. Uh, the when is important. I got circumcised um when I, I was done with the high school. Um I, I had taught, you know, I was a teacher when I got circumcised. Mm. And How I was old? In, How old? Um 1920. How old were you when you were being circumcised? 19 or 20. He's yes, saying 19, 19 or 20. Oh, I thought yes. he's saying 1920 like the year 1920. Yeah, I thought so, but I'm going to think faster. Here. <laughs> around that time yeah around that time yeah yeah mm-hmm. so the reason why i was getting circumcised coming to think about it is um was rather stupid um but i got i got circumcised way after i had had so much sex i had had so much sex in the other podcast we we were talking and you were you 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 were saying how some of us begin having sex so early yes when we begin i began having sex so early by the time i was i was getting cut it was enough to see the difference between having it and not having it well, having the skin having the first skin yes having the first skin not having yes, it yes having the first skin and not having it there are people who have got very weird first skins Huh? Yeah. The, yeah. What, what, what do you mean? Like like foreskins are different. I made differently. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. There are foreskins that really cover the entire glands. Yes. Eh, mpaka unaona another tail coming out. <laughs> mm-hmm. And magically it disappears during erection. I I don't know how it does. But then there are people who have got That's just a little bit of 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 foreskin. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. I believe it is like the eyelids. <laughs> it, 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 no, yeah. In Luo we, we had people who are called rayworm. Yeah, rayworm is, some- rayu is someone will have a part of the, the glands showing. Yeah. You know, not the whole glands but the 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 dick we will be smiling all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. See my glands. And they like still have four skin. <laughs> yes, they <laughs> have four skin, but even when they are not erect, mm. you know, mm. uh, the four skin uh, Oh, I, I think I know what you mean. It is it is halfway. It mm. is sort it's of a halfway. Mm. It's, it's not a halfway. It just leaves it smiling, mm. you know. So we mm. had we call No, I think I, I think I think I think I think I think I just about a halfway. Yeah, Some people yeah. have very little of four skin. Yeah. Actually then then tire almost almost uh, almost um almost a uh, uh, Three quarter of the glands is out. No. no. Yes, yes. I, yeah, I, but, we, but we use. We it could be true because they're different. It's like vagina. I saw it because we used to. We used to go to the to the to the lake. Yeah, to the river and bathe there. Yeah. So yeah, foreskin comes in different sizes and shapes, as we can say. But 
for the most part mm-hmm. normally it's able to cover the glands the entire glands yes, yes correct it's able to cover the entire glands but there are people who are called rayuom if you are low you know yeah, they, are, yeah. they are born with a part of a part of the glands showing but mm. still the foreskin is still able to offer um the function that is supposed mm. to do for the dick mm. because it is present mm. yeah mm. So you are telling us the story of how you got circumcised. Uh, the story behind it. Yes. Um it it goes deep into into experiencing sex. So I'm in high school and I'm having uh, a lot of good sex with this girlfriend that I stole from a ninja who's closer to me. Mm-hmm. Hey. And <laughs> this ninja <laughs> uh, this girl um um she she might appear younger than me but uh, um the person she was she had fucked so many bigger guys you know what does he mean bigger guys, guys? like not my age ah uh, okay yeah, all right all right Older, Older. yes yes, yes. Mm-hmm. He, 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 she had experienced sex with men older than me so she was able to she was exposed in the matter of sex so I was there most of the time like okay she'd be teaching you things and she'd do things to me that I hadn't thought were possible in my experience of sex in my experience of sex was just genital collisions okay this 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 so this, this, so so, so so do beautiful things means good things yeah. do beautiful <laughs> things experience well, what kind of things. sex do you i'm really curious about your sex life. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to stay away from the from from yes. talking the the terms you know but that no, 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 why, why is no, why no, is this thing away from talking the terms that lady would 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 lick that glands she from high school I learned that okay sex actually begins outside the the body mm. you know she'd play with the penis in a way that okay i was like what is this mm. happening like a violin yes mm. she'd play with the penis and we'd have sex a lot of it but something used to happen you'd have sex a lot of sex a lot of sex and then that last round where you're now supposed to that last round okay was it to to me maliza sasa kila mtu aende kwa hapo i always i always had to be left with that an erection i just had an erection even after sex i was just still having it no uh uh me ni mechoka there was a time she do something where where the bed shakes you see how the bed shakes she she stiffen her body and then tell me that if after this you haven't come man this this is done yeah and then most days uh, I'll, I'll i'll go home with an erection una una msindikisha but you still have that <laughs> yeah damn <laughs> i wish i had more time with you <laughs> and then mm. oh uh, as chances would have it i didn't have in in that part, particular place i had another girlfriend and you had two Yes I had to. I had yeah. this one wasn't what a, mine. What a lovely this, life you this guys. One, this, one, this, one, this one wasn't mine. This yeah. one I had taken her from my elder brother. I had stolen her from my elder brother. So you are a side guy. Yeah? You are a side guy. It was supposed to be so but it didn't remain so. <laughs> 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 um, so in around the same place I, ha- I, ha- I have the same girl. So this one is supposed to be oh originally my girlfriend mm-hmm. so she is my girlfriend this other lady knows that she is my girlfriend so we the same thing happened you know where we you have a lot of sex and we sweat and and you would sweat and and in the whole bed I get wet at but that last sex where you're now get saying, wet okay, from sex from from from, sweating, from yes. the sweat <laughs> you know we've had sex <laughs> and then um that thing used to happen to like i i never had a sex with this ladies to a point where i said okay nimerudi na dick yangu imekubali yani i feel good yani imeisha all right there was like i wish this could go on all right there was that moment so inwardly i began really wanting to to date older people like i just wanted to have a big girl like i just wanted to have a big girl so, so but but of course you don't have you don't have the need to approach so in in this situation um these ninjas who cut motherfuckers mm. these vvmc ninjas yes 
around this time people yeah. are getting cut in our village and uh, the kids are going you know it's easier they can they can come in and lure the kids with the bread and the so stuff. that was that's so what we were talking about still still a hospital yeah. so they get cu- circumcised all right but for people like us you you all, all right uh, do i do i need this thing you have that talk in your head why you know they tell you 60% hiv so you are stuff. you are you're about you're about you're about 20 years old yes i'm mm. around that time so I, i i i go to the center all right my intent is i want to ask is there a way that i can have sex all right na yise all right i i just have sex that ends ile ya mtu akienda they feel good all right because it 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 cause the situation to get normal sana in anza at so the end were you it, so were you ejaculating yes i was ejaculating but your penis remains erect yes we were having yes i was ejacu- i was ejaculating we were having so much sex we be, we'd begin with the condom and pull it off and then we'll just continue with begin with the condom and that situation yeah can i reduce this thing can i how can mm. i can i can i ejaculate here the last can i get this ejaculation and i ask this lady she's she's there uh, upon the health center sitting under the shade um you know talking to people as they come in so i i, I went there and asked that lady and she explained it for me she told me uh when the foreskin is removed your glands is exposed and when your glands is exposed uh, you the ejaculations it 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 improves contact all right it improves contact and then that can re- reduce what you're talking about you won't be having such similar stuff so that is the point where i, I got sold that when your dick is exposed it's more sensitive really? because it's now in direct That's contact how yes he, he understood it at the time yes that is what we were taught that when the foreskin is removed the glance is exposed to the vagina that was the lessons that uh, she taught me that day and when it's ex- exposed uh, it improves how how you experience sex and how you ejaculate it reduces the time and stuff like that so i remember even calling that lady and telling her eh hey, you know nimetengeneza mm. kakitu after 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 circumcision mm. like okay i've i've done this thing mm. I've done this thing. You I, have you have you have been cut. I have been cut. So I'm calling her because I have the news that I've done something better that will improve our will improve our sex life. Mm. All right? What was she also had this pro- she also, she could see the problem that you also having. She could she because because you are you are like, you are sending her back home and course, you are you are still of course of course we are having a sex you are having a sex that ends with her asking it to stop. All right? Asking asking for the sex to stop. It, she's because, asking yes, because she's be, tired. No, yeah. yeah oh, course, she's yeah. she's okay. Yeah. Yes. The so guy is still asking, erect. I'm still I'm still Lizzie. having sex. You all Damn. right? <laughs> so she she's like a porn, she, porn star. she's like she's like okay, um she wants this to now and because of course ume adi ume ume muiba kwao. You are supposed by 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 kitu 5 a.m. ume umeshampeleka. So we didn't risk man. We are going there six man the light is shining here, you know. Mzee you need to end this. Stop hitting uh, the chair. This this happy end. It's a serious conversation. All right. Yes. <laughs> so but then I want I want to go back to the to the to cutting itself. Yes. I remember the when I was doing when I was getting cut mm. I Obviously my reason for getting cut was the fact that I was having I was having cuts. Yes. Like you know when you have night nighttime yes. erections yes. I would wake up and I've got slight cuts on my glands. Yes. And on your glands or on the foreskin? On the glands. Okay. You know? Mm. So it it was like zumbu and then I I basically have a skin that doesn't pona very fast. Mm. So I would be having very cuts sometimes even three of them. Yeah. And these things are so painful. So You know, you don't talk about having cuts on your penis, yes, you know. So I, yeah, so I kept I kept asking what is going on here. So one day I just ventured and went to the hospital and the doctor told me that uh, one of the things that will help you with this thing is circumcision. Because then he told me that what is happening is that the gland is very sensitive. Yes. And for some people it is very very sensitive. Yes. To the point that when you get an erection, even a sheet, even a blanket can skite mm-hmm. when you have an erection and you're turning at night. 
so you can have those cards. So he's, he's, he, he suggested that I should go for circumcision. Oh, I did not go for some time. And then these things just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. And so I decided, fine, let me go for this thing. And um, I really, really regretted it. Yes. Because first the pain, uh, the anesthesia, they do it very well. You don't hear anything. And then you go back home and it starts. <laughs> yes. yeah. The thing was, because the thing was just super ex- painful mm-hmm. for the next six months i didn't have peace you know the erections at night oozes in a shika mm. and then the oozes the stitches the stitches are just constant problem for the next three months it's it's fucked up because <laughs> they they when they cut it yeah man i think the people cut people sometimes i think uh this cut that we're cutting in hospitals is more invasive jacks when i w- when i was lying on that bed and hmm. they prepared my dick and cut it there was no skin left on my dick what do you mean it was <laughs> all red it was that dick was all red i this think they pulled it too much i think ninja, they pulled it too much had to get the skin from the base of my dick to come and sue it from the base of my glance here. <laughs> Shit. And when you are waking up, motherfucker, you can't sleep. <laughs> no. I, 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 feel, I, feel like, I feel like Rick's I have fun. cutting this cutting the foreskin should be a very specialized thing. Yeah. You don't want people roaming in the village to <laughs> cutting dicks, <laughs> cutting foreskin. Yeah. Dick should dick should not be cut. No, yeah. let me tell you, but fuck, if if you have to fuck, cut the, if you have dick. to cut the foreskin, <laughs> you really have to get somebody who knows what they are doing. But how do you know? How no, do you know? people people what, do we, this thing How do you this, how do you this, do that in a campaign? This thing should, this thing should campaigns. not be done in a campaign. To start How with. do they do it in campaigns? No, I what think I, f- d- dude, a dick <laughs> is like is like is like the heart. It's like a liver. Yes. If you are going to do an operation <laughs> on the liver, you need somebody who understands the liver. Yes. All the veins in the liver. Uh, and yeah. as far as I know, yeah. the dick is just as complicated as the liver. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because we have people dying from circumcision. Yeah. A lot. True. Yeah. People yeah. Die, yeah. yeah. So what happens is that is that is that these people, I think they pull it mm. when they want to cut it. Because there is no way to do it. I don't know how they do it. Yes. You know? I think they pull it and then they, they cut it. They cut it. Or they just they just sort of just go over over it with a, with a with a pair of scissors or whatever they do it. Yes. But then the thing is, this thing has to be has to be perfect to the millimeter. Micromillimeter what? Mm. It has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. So that when you sew it, it heals properly. Yeah. But these guys in the village or these doctors, Rick comes and be and is trained for, for two months to go and circumcise people, you can't. Mm. And how do they circumcise people in in multitudes where there are people lining? Have you seen how they line motherfuckers to get cut? You know, I this, do, do those ninjas even have enough enough knives to cut these ninjas? Well, you that know, is that is that is politics. My b- biggest problem yeah. is is the speciality in yes. cutting in cutting the foreskin. Yes. It is it is often it's often not done well, or it's just that this thing is not supposed to be cut, and that is why in every cut something has to go wrong. So anyway, I had pain for the next six months. First of all, the erections at night after two days are unbearable mm. you wake up direct and once it has it has it has the, you you've gotten direction it doesn't go away mm. because it is in your head mm. you are told to we, we were told to drink a lot of water so that anytime you're having an erections you pee Allah. huh because when you pee if you, <laughs> your dick has to your dick has to loosen the muscle for you to pee if yeah, you are erect yeah. the pee cannot pass through so when you drink a lot of water every time you're having an erection <laughs> Being is painful. Yeah, man. Circumcision so, so, is, so after is these six months, it 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 the, the healing is so gradual. It is so difficult, and the injuries are always there. At least in my experience, mm. I was always injuring my penis. You know, sometimes you do this. There is a, a small erection at night. We may bust. The stitches are bust. You wake up bleeding. Mm. I mean, it's just it's just terrible. But anyway, that was my thing. I didn't wear and I, I didn't wear I didn't wear any 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 any, any boxer for the for the next three months. Mm. I couldn't wear anything. I was just even the trouser was horrible to wear. Mm. You know, you are always my I was living with my sister and she was seeing me and she was just terrible. Mm. You know? But anyway, Mr. Gak. Yeah. I want to go to a Swani. <laughs> I I am I am 
I, it's interesting. How do you, Aswani? How do you? How do they do it? How, do you remember how they used to do it? Because ours is now medicine, medicine, you know, hospital. Then yours is the bush one, Aswani. How do you? How do you do the bush one? <laughs> <laughs> the bush. Hey, I think <laughs> for for when I was, I was growing up. They were the 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 one for hospital wasn't common. There mm. were very few hospital, so the most common one was that one where they have a program, and so they are at at a particular age you are enrolled in that program, and then there is a place you are taken in a bush somewhere to be prepared for for that. In in Luya, I'm from Luya, so different. Uh, dialect of Luyas do it differently. But now where we were living, the... the, the Which the, dialect is this? Uh, now where we were living is in Kakamega. But I'm from Bunyore. Who, and them, they do it also differently. But I think that if you're supposed to do it, you go back to Bunyore, you go back to your home That's place. why I went to Bunyo, back to Bunyore. Oh, you went but back it to... Wasn't, uh, it wasn't like uh, a decision that you make. Uh, like for me now, my dad just woke up one morning. He said, "We are going to see your grandmother." Uh, and now it was me and they my didn't even tell you what they were going to no, do. No, 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 no. Really, there was there was no information, nothing. The next thing you are there, and, <laughs> and the guy shows up and <laughs> with the knives. Yes, <laughs> you you don't see the knife because they are in a bag. Damn. Yeah, so they are in a, like a, a But do you know do you know what is a, what is a foot? What is going on? What is Kunjama Nigani? You you, you, <laughs> you start to realize what is happening when the guy shows up. There are hints. There are those uh, those hints that uh, this is what is going to happen. But then you the, the reality dawns on you when you see the guy because the guy wears He comes some, home. Yes, he wears some bells. So, He's a specialist. Yeah, when he walks, uh, they do ching ding, ching ding. <laughs> <laughs> So you, 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 somehow, and it's early in the morning. Like, like, uh, for other people, they were they were taken to a river at six. Uh, around around where my grandfather lived was a river. It's called Jordan. So you go there. And <laughs> you <laughs> <take> a <laughs> <early> morning. <laughs> you yeah. take a deep, yeah. And so what I think what that that does is it wakes you up. It it mm. keeps you alert. And so the guy shows up a few minutes after the shower. And then uh, yeah, it it's it's a very very short engagement with the guy. He he just chucks the knife. King. And so if if he was doing it for for like 15 kids he would finish in no time and, and run away actually. R running is the word. Just disappear in the bush. <laughs> right. I don't know why they used to do that. But that's what he does. So he does that. He cuts and then he has a, a bottle with some dawa. He dips uh, a feather inside and uh, does that. And, and that thing you hear it on your head. <laughs> the pain. The pain now. Because when he cuts it, there is there is no blood that jacks out until after a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and then he puts the dower with the feather, and then uh, suddenly you just hear the pain in your head. Ish. There is no anesthesia. There is there is no painkiller. Nothing. No, because like even in the medical world, they consider some circumcision a minor surgery. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. <laughs> yeah, in this case, for this guy, is uh, is uh, he performed a minor surgery without any anesthesia? Yes, and and the the the, the anesthesia part is the part where you 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 go to the river in the morning to shower before it. Yes, and then also he comes in the morning when uh, the circulation of blood I don't know is. Is not at yeah because optimum. it's really cold. It's still cold. Yeah, yeah. It's still, mm. So those are those are the the measures. But then yeah, the 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 procedure itself is very short. You have no time to ask questions. Normally your mother is not there uh, because. How old were you? I, I think I was below ten. I was very young. In in fact, 
my, my dad is really crazy. He carries <laughs> even even my two brothers who are even younger than us. <laughs> and and they just say no 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 this ones. <laughs> <laughs> Because because you wanted to make one trip. Yes. <laughs> later, later my 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 when now my brother and 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 my 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 two younger brothers are circumcised <coughs> in the, in Kakamega now you know I'm 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 <coughs> I'm a little bit uh, older. Yeah. I understand. I can take care of them. You know, but initially, you know, they, like for us, they used to hire somebody to take care of us. But as we just came to Kakamega to be taken care of. But you see, you see, so now, <coughs> after after I got after I, after I got circumcised or cut, I don't know whether a circumcision is still the word after you, when you are an adult. They, what, what, they, you, go to, you go back to hospital several times mm. for checkup, right? Agatha, I don't know whether you ever went. You don't look like to, you ever you went. Supposed, they were supposed to change the bandage. Did I ever go back? I I, I don't I don't remember that part of going. Yeah, back but I think I went back like stuff. like three or four times mm. for for checkup. But in the case of Kinaswani, there is no stage. Yes, there's no stage. Yeah. yeah, actually, you know, it's possible to know the person who was just circumcised in the bush and the one who was <laughs> because the the other will the there will be a stitch. The stitch is almost permanent. Yeah. Yeah, but then the others is is just uh, they the, the, the skin, stitch. The skin ring no, but the 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 what is it called? The, the scar. The scar. Yeah, the scar is, is Yeah, the scar is the scar is the, the scar is yeah, obviously yeah. Obvi- obviously there. So for those people who who do it in the bush, the 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 formation is different. There is no perfect uh, whatever mm. perfect cut mm. you get if you lined up uh, 15 people who are done in the bush they will have 15 types of penises mm. to display <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god yeah and the the, the healing is different the, the because there is no dressing there's uh, literally nothing it's just that uh, and, uh, and, and yeah you want to I'm, say I'm so. curious to know about your processing because uh, last time when you spoke on the phone you told me it's the next day that you actually realize what really happened to you that you are processing yeah like, what do you feel about that process, especially being that nobody communicated to you about what's going on? Yeah. And the fact that the way the thing happened, first of all, it was really quick. It was so early in the morning. And then, you know, there was this pain that came later. And then the later you realize, oh, your body has actually been <laughs> mutilated in some way. Yeah. What was that processing like for you? I, th- I think for for m- I don't know for other people, but uh, for if you think about the many things like for example for us who grew up in the village that happened on your body, mm. you you would you would sue somebody and actually get paid yeah. because uh, uh, there was no communication. There was like uh, you you didn't have a forum whereby you could uh, uh, your dad could tell you okay this is the process that is going to happen. But then also, uh, then people just didn't think that it was important to actually prepare you for something, especially something as as major as that. Mm. And that's why for people who there are cultures who put you in a in a in that uh, kind of uh, training to yeah. prepare you. Kinyago, kinyago, yeah. Yes, yeah. but also it's done when you are a little bit older. I yeah. think uh, my brother-in-law, I think, went f- when he was uh, in high school. So it's uh, done after, after the cut? Uh, no, it's in between. <laughs> so like for Bukusus, you when you go to Jandoni, uh, oh, Jando, you, yeah. you, you stay there and then there is a procedure of things you need to do and then after you get uh, the cut, I think you are supposed to go to your uncle and get a reward of a cow. Um, mm. and, and I think they used to say if you cry also, your mother brings a, a, a whatever, a condo. So you also are not supposed to cry. Despite this guy just coming violently to oh, yeah, your yes, things, yes. See, you are also not supposed to cry. Yes. So as a child, you are grappling with all those things. Because when the guy shows up, your father is now preparing. Don't cry. Mm. Just be a man. Don't mm. cry. So now you are you are just fighting not to cry. Mm. And also you, you just have to bear the pain. Mm. So like for me, I digest things slowly. And that's why I was telling you, for me, I digested that thing when it was already done mm. 
pole pole you were like so what really what? happened to yeah. me yeah yeah so in the in the in the kikuyu culture the, you, there is a lot of pride when you when you when you get circumcised and you see other people as kehis people who are not circumcised and they are not men enough and things like that i don't see it a lot in uh, in within the i don't know whether the lawyers just don't speak about it or whatever but do you do you guys also have that idea that you know after passing through that you should be a man and you and you know somebody who has not passed through that c- can't you know can't come close to you take tea with you and and do things with you I think the 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 the, the circumcision uh, part is important to lawyers but not not very important. Mm. Yeah, I think for lawyers uh, the importance is maybe when you when you get they they equate importance to getting a wife. Yeah. More than more than uh, yeah more than so if you're a lawyer and but you don't still right. but also uh, for for us how we grew up is just people got circumcised yes. in fact sometimes they used to say if you don't want to be circumcised don't even go where the guy is doing it he might just do it to you oh, <laughs> and, yeah. and that's what you don't want mm. so people who who are either not circumcised or they do want to be circumcised they just avoided uh, going to the market for example when the guy shows up because the guy showed up um, uh, in a chaotic way and there was dancing mm. and all those things so people who do want to be circumcised mm. or they 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 were not ready to be circumcised they just avoided mm. uh, going there but also for us you know it, when when you are young you will just say oh you haven't done it but then it's not like something that you 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 use as a tool to put somebody down mm. but then now when it comes to marriage now it's different because mm. now for luya they are just like if you don't have a wife then you cannot be sitting with <laughs> old people <laughs> to discuss anything yeah, yeah. yeah. so as uh, uh, let's get back to nani to so Agak says that he was told uh, that uh, if you get circumcised then the sex would be better. Yeah. That is what that lady told me. And from my experience and and the researches that I have done, yeah. Yeah. From personal ex- experience, when we don't have to rely on personal ex- experience, we can also do our own research. Mm. Actually, when you take away the foreskin, it's the opposite that happens. That's what I thought. Yes. But that's not what they preach out there. When you take away the foreskin, what they think is exposure, it's actually not exposing just the fo- the foreskin to the dick. Mm-hmm. It's exposing the foreskin to denim. No, mm-hmm. no, motherfuckers wear jeans. And that glands is rubbing upon that jeans. And what happens later is but that you wear, that you wear, you wear underwear. You wear to even that underwear, which. even that underwear is fabric. Mm, All right? I see. Yeah. When that underwear is fabric, if you had a full skin, you know how sensitive it gets. It, even yeah. washing it, even yeah. washing it, you have to make a posture. You have to make a posture. Hey, because it's it's <laughs> it's so sensitive even to the touch. Yeah. And naturally if you if you look at the way uh the glands is protected, you realize it was only supposed to come alive to to get out of the full skin when you are having sex. Yeah. And when you are washing it, only those two instances where it's supposed to come out it's 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 shattered and yeah. if you if you want to understand how it's and, and how I see, sensitive and i see, and I see a lot of ani- almost all animals have the have all it. mammals have for skin all mammals except the duck billed platypus <laughs> all of them <laughs> all, <laughs> all, all, all mammals no, no, all mammals have for skin yeah and 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 it's it only comes out when you are supposed to be having sex and it doesn't disappear so the question we need to ask is where this foreskin goes when it's cut because naturally if you are uncut and you have an erection the foreskin disappears yes it does and when you're having sex when you are having sex uh, your dick is 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 always bigger when it's coming out Mm. All right? And I don't know about that. Not, it yes, is. That is the Observe truth. Other, uh, other mammals. When you have the foreskin, the dick can stretch. Yeah. It can fucking stretch, but the woman won't even feel the pain because it's soft. 
yeah. right? Uh, it's it's got a huge volume to stretch. That <laughs> so you are deep with look. <laughs> what went in your head, man? Yes. <laughs> So when this, this guy <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong so so what happens yeah. is this for skin this skin that they normally take yeah. where does it go it subtracts from your dick it subtracts from the gut you don't see it because it becomes a part of your dick mm. all right mm. uh, and it gets filled by blood all right for you to have an uh, an erection it has to fill Okay so where does this skin go so we are we are saying don't cut little babies because you are stealing from their length too mm. it's what not does that, what does that mean it means that when we, when your dick is cut it is cupped it is cupped the more it can stretch and the way some 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 circumcisions go out there are people who cry actually when they have sex because it stretches the skin that is left have you ever heard of botched circ- circumcisions mm. last year last year in january this january not last year this january 20 kids in kenya here were in hospitals for botched circumcisions botched means that it was not cut properly botched means yes it was not cut properly uh yes yeah. <laughs> yes so so it's either a lot of skin was taken mm. or too little Mm. All right. So you 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 don't deserve nobody should be going through unnecessary circumcision. You were telling us something. There was you had a lot and lot of sex before you got circumcised. Yes, and I then, did. I, and had then a, and I had a lot of sex. And then after circumcision how did uh, what what, what transpired because we are waiting circumc- for that news. Did it after, did it become better? After after circumcisions um sex actually become ina inatoa utamu ya ngono yako ama ya kila mtu yako especially yako yako kwanza circumcision inatoa utamu wa ngono yako yes as the man you yeah. give more than you get after circumcision you give more than you get because that thing kills kills your dick circumcision circumcision kills your dick did it kill your dick we are talking about you mr gag why why are you talking, are not talking about no, me no 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 we, we, we had a we had a path we were following yes, and i'm saying yes. and i'm saying circumcision mm. kills your dick mm-hmm. and the way it kills your dick it kills how you feel uh sex for instance um when i was before i even experienced sex there was a cousin of mine uh who had experienced an ejaculation and i was asking him and he was telling me it this the kuna utamu mwingine hapo lakini haikai all right it's just some two minute thing He, he's explaining to me what it feels like when you when, when you're having sex the orgasm part mm. and before i experienced sex I, w- i was just thinking okay it said it's so too sweet but it doesn't stay long how can i make this thing ka all right so how can i make this stretch how, how can i i i stretch this good feeling thing because sex naturally ni kama kuchimba migodi unachimbanga alafu migodi ni nini ugodi ni gold mtu wangu <laughs> <laughs> unachimba you are you are waiting you are building yeah. you are building for the for, for the ninth heaven you are building for the orgasm all right without the four skin you can't you can't build enough the first skin gives you the mini senses the sensitivities you feel an ejaculation when it's a thousand miles away so rick can you can you can you, can you can you help me ask this guy the question i'm asking and he's not responding to he he had ko is asking yeah how your sex life changed yeah after but, but that is what i'm but explaining he's talking but in generality i I'm mean i'm not talking in generality i'm not talking in generality i'm talking Hey, we are asking the question you had this sex yes. that was not you every time you had an you had sex you were still left with an erection yes. and the girls wanted you to stop yes. and then this lady from the from the center okay. told you the, yeah yes. told you that yes. if you if you if you have a, 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 a if you get if if, if you get cut yes. then the situation will be better yes so the ah, question we are yes. asking yeah okay. uh, what is the experience of before that the is the experience truth to her words that thing actually ended 
that thing of gay, uh, sex in Maisha and bado I feel like it it uh, this this round nimeachwa na round niki hang nayo that thing actually come to an end but it took some time so it was before. a good thing that you got cut no it wasn't a good thing that I got cut I'm saying it's it wasn't a good thing that I got cut and that is what I'm I'm explaining and yeah. I'm even going back to when I when I'm going back to the story of Uma is that not personal Mm. That's personal I'm yeah. explaining to you. Yeah. So one of the things I used to do when I was having sex I used to edge a lot. Ile ya unasikia hiki tu ikikuja but unaweka break. Mm. Unaingoja you know the way you feel the dick is gyrating but you haven't allowed it to ejaculate. You're uh-huh. keeping it. And 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 you do that you do that you do that you do that. Now the way when you have a full skin and you have these sensibilities you see the way people play with a tap mm-hmm. all right okay is asa ni machilia ikaenda you see it ah you do that you do that you do that. without without the full skin you cannot stretch that you cannot age. you cannot stretch that orgasm face enough you the, are not able to stretch it i'm te- i'm telling you without the full skin you cannot Yes, I wasn't able to stretch it. I can't I can't stretch it as much as I'd like to mm. because you feel it. The orgasm if naturally you're feeling the orgasms when they are a thousand miles away, you're feeling the orgasm when it's here. Mm. All right? You circumcision makes you you feel it here. Mm. Now you can't play with it enough times. Mm. All right? Mm. I found, I found, I found, uh, interesting, right? Yeah. Um, How do you, do you you age? I do a lot of times. Yeah, because I'm I'm not cut myself. So you believe that you're aging because you're not you're not cut. I don't know the politics around that or the biology, <laughs> but yeah. for me I wasn't really interested in circumcision much. Yeah, you yeah. telling me the story about your mother. Yeah, um 2015 and you know she comes to me. Uh, that was probably the nearest sex talk she ever had with me by telling me you need to go to the Catholic church there. They had mm. a hospital and they had this circumcision thing going on and you know she was like ndio utafute ni pesa ngapi? Uniambie alafu nikupetie pesa you go and get cut. And I'm the first one at home. So I think my brother had that and she he's like seven years younger than me and uh, he went and got cut. I wasn't in a hurry. No, the, the conversation with your mother, how did exactly did it go? Exactly like I, I to, I've said it. Like, you know, th- we had a Catholic church that had a hospital and um, they had this program mm. for circumcision. And so my mother heard it and she just came and told me, I, I, I think you know you need to go and and you know check the program you know and uh, i should ask how much it is so the the communication that was indirect there is you need to go and get circumcised yes. yeah. you know what i liked about her is she didn't insist mm. yeah it was not at your own mpaka ikitu ifanyike ndio ukae kwa hii nyumba you know so for me i wasn't really interested i, mm. I it was just something that passed me because i wasn't interested in you know getting my my my, my penis cut and that was it but then me. but then there are the, you are you you are born in Nairobi there are lots of lawyers here there are lots of kikuyus here people are always you know talking you've you've had the talk that 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 a good uh, that a, a proper man should get cut yeah. is a lot yeah, of the first skin yeah. shame yeah. 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 yeah the, the first skin yeah first skin shame, shame yes yes yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. it happens a lot and you know that's one of the things that i've been uh, very curious about especially mm. you know with bantus yes. you know because nylots is not a big thing to us mm. as far as i know but i think kalenjins do it i think so yeah um as a as a river lake nylot specifically mm. um i do not lose sleep because i have an Full uncut skin. dick you know like i do not lose sleep over that so now my masculinity is questionable now i can't walk in the streets of nairobi <laughs> with my with my chest hung with up your you know, I, I don't, I, like it, it has never come to me so you're growing up and then of course with with our country there are these uh, political tensions that have been here between Gekoyo and the Luos with our forefathers and um, you know as part of an insult you yeah. know from from a Gekoyo person you'd hear that you know those Luos are kehes yes. yes and by those connotations it would mean that they are lesser men yeah mm. you know uh, and and that meant that they cannot rule government mm. they cannot be leaders or, or stuff mm. like that uh, but 
there was a time i mean because i've been having sex for quite a while i, I have also met nan kikuyus mm. uh, women mm. who sometimes would be would tell me they first of all they've never seen a person a man who's ne- not been circumcised you know uh, out of their sexual ventures and uh, in their understanding mm. you're not a man enough to fuck them yeah you know what i mean so you come across those situations and then on the other side there are these women who tell you also that they've been with men who've been cut they've been with men who've not been cut and they tell you they've enjoyed sex more with men who've not been cut mm-hmm. because because that extra flesh of the foreskin that yes. uh, that extends down yes. offers more pleasure for the walls of the vagina yes you get what i mean because the vagina has like 10000 nerve endings i don't know about that yes they have like 10000 nerve the endings the foreskin has, uh, has 20 Yeah so yes. so like our bodies are very powerful <laughs> core like yeah. they're very so powerful <laughs> there's just a communication between the vagina and the foreskin yes they have this like it's very sensitive yes. uh nerve endings you know what and that's what brings the so, pleasure so so yes. so so you 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 treat the foreskin as as the kind of studded you yes, know this yes. this yes. starts of con- the penis yes yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cuz it, you know, it has that extra thing you, they, they they they've even tried to make uh studded condoms to try to 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 replicate the impact that mm. that an uncut dick Would have. has has on the vagina the vagina is ribbed actually for the for the foreskin so that it holds the it's dick. ribbed yes it's constructed yes for the foreskin so much that the foreskin have have the edges that keep them attached so that the dick the shaft is is, inside, is able yeah. to move fast within itself within the foreskin it moves <laughs> it's held yeah. and then so the the way the sex is happening this there's the walls of the <laughs> vagina yeah. and then it gets to the walls of the dick the, the foreskin Outside, yes. and then the dick itself within itself it's able to move yeah. so it's like it's like when you have these uh, bearings mm. all right oh, yeah. the foreskin yeah, acts yeah. like the bearing yeah. between the walls of the dick the hard dick the shaft yes. and itself so there's no there's no friction yes ningumu sana kukuwa na friction and then it also just has a way it's it's hold the liquid do you know why your dick is shaped in such a way that I wanted, yeah. I wanted i wanted to ask you know, you know i was i was um <laughs> i don't know whether i should say Uliza, <laughs> I, was, i was in the, i was in the i was in the, <laughs> in the kinyozi <laughs> the other day <laughs> and then there is this cool lady who is who is usually doing the after the the, uh, the, the kinyozi is done yes, yes the favorite yeah, part but yeah. she's very talkative <laughs> and and she can hold any conversation she doesn't fear no conversation mm-hmm. and she was telling me about uh, We, we there was a lot of discussion in the kinyozi about about men different men from different tribes and she was talking about how she likes the 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 the, the, the lures mm. and the uh, how she likes the lures and the lawyers and i was like so what is the reason you know and she was telling me you know this our brothers don't <laughs> do this thing nicely mm. and i'm i'm just wondering nicely what is the is it is it about the is it about the foskey not not being in, in in the in the equation because uh, it must be about it uh, so i i i don't and then there is this issue of people from other tribes can just fuck well i mean like like they say kikuyu men are not good at this thing or you know a masai man will kill you in bed <laughs> and there are just these crazy things going on so yeah. it's very interesting the when you're talking about yeah uh, uh there's a there's a there's a thing they say yeah. they say if you haven't been fucked by a lawyer you are still a virgin <laughs> so or a lawyer i'm telling you the thing they say they say if you haven't been fucked who by is saying that It's a common saying on the streets if you haven't met it you haven't met it but there's a saying on the street they say if you haven't been fucked by luo you are still a virgin oh consider God. yourself a virgin eh. and we are we are Kenyans man we are in Nairobi with the same diet much of this the same thing so what holds the difference I don't think it that is I don't, I don't I don't really think that's true I mean I don't I don't know I don't know but the saying might not be are, true because you are hearing Ricks, it Ricks, do you think Ricks, do you think there are tribes some tribes like the the college is apparently runs really fast <laughs> and they can do marathon <laughs> and these other these other tribes can do it yeah. i've never seen a lawyer doing a marathon in my entire life yeah. uh but K- they do, do but they do. do 100 meters really well the lawyers yes so the genetics of these tribes might just be different yeah it could be genetics also and geography 
because you see like in Itam mm-hmm. it, the temperature there uh, is it's really cold, cold. Yes. so for training it's very good or the way they have been raised you have been, you have been, you have been the raised there and all that it could be it could be all that but also genetics i think play a really big part because for example you know kalen jeans and Ethi- and the ethiopians have yeah. very similar uh, bodies you know uh, for running yes. you get what i mean so i think genetics play a, a big part of it because it's almost the same way you know in like in football many mm. times you don't hear many kalen jeans you don't hear many people from other tribes uh, like like in, in like in our you know, national like f- uh, football team for you'd example. see lawyers and lawyers mostly Many times so i don't know I, do, i can't explain i don't know if it's politics or it's genetics but for the athletics yeah. at least that part i would think the sex, is, athlete, sex is athletics rigs 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 when you are talking of climate mm. it actually plays a role in how sexually excited a population is oh yeah um, climates that experience sun most of the days mm. uh, they have the good hormones uh, mm. ox- oxytocin yes, yes, you know yes. so ha- the happy hormones uh, yes yeah. they they feel good hormones they are more sexually active somebody already did some research about it and he was trying to say that is that explains why in prior days um, the areas around around le- the lake mm. lake victoria mm. and stuff they used to have a lot of um, hiv mm. infections compared mm. to other areas yeah So as a population um they are more sexually excited. Yeah. Yeah. And because, that's why that's why you hear actually sunshines. like yeah. So that's why issues like um when you, when you hear around like uh vacations or countries that are islands. Yeah. Mm. They are very sexually ex- excitable. Yeah. Mm. And Jamaica is a good example. Yeah. Or you go to any island like think people are <laughs> yes very excited uh, population sexually, populations yeah, so. that see that experience more sunshine yeah are naturally sexually active they they are sexually excited they have a lot of sex and stuff so so agak is agak is having a foundation a, a non-profit that he has started called intact infancy intact infants infants yes what is what is what does that mean we Uh, intact infants we yeah the phraseology there what what does it mean we are saying we want to see um infants you grow past the babies you know most most uh, cultures cut people while they are still babies uh, yeah. up after eight days and stuff so we are saying we need to see intacts being uh, infants you reach that infancy stage while while you are intact all right um and and then we can educate we educate the parents we educate people our focus is educating communities to stop infant circumcision mm-hmm. yeah. uh, circumcision is very frowned upon uh, when it comes to girls these days more than it is so i'm just i'm just thinking do you think the energy with which we uh you know post mm. female transi- uh, circumcision mm. should be should be used against male circumcision yeah <coughs> because because it is the same thing they are removing and it's having the same effect uh they 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 are cutting the most erogenous part of the vagina they are cutting the most er- erogenous part of the penis the foreskin uh, is it's the most sensitive part you can't compare to the shaft to the balls so when you remove all these things you are leaving your dick to serve the different purpose than mm. sex mm. and the effort because it's the same thing that they are removing from both parties and they are circumcising these people most of the time when they cannot consent when they cannot choose whatever they want for their genitals so the effort should be should be the same because But why why do you, why do you think why do you think it 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 sounds criminal again is women then it sounds criminal against men I, i i don't understand why it's very criminal against i don't know whether it's oh, a, it's a criminal offense in kenya is it it is it is, I w- it is. I w- I w- so I, w- i will say because of the physical repercussions that have been more evident in girls than mm. than it has in boys mm. um far more women bleed to death due to fgm um there are insane um uh, illnesses that come as a result of 
improper cutting yeah. um some women are sometimes even not able to give birth you know what i mean so the the physical repercussions uh, of fgm cuz cuz the vagina is a very it's a it's just a very sensitive uh, compli- complex organ which many of us again um generally in with sexuality we don't really understand our bodies mm-hmm. as much you know mm-hmm. um and so the cultural meanings we have given um the cultural meanings we have given these practices are the things that are you know um causing our downfalls so for boys yes like it's there like you know you know like like it's very difficult also to hear that uh, somebody was never like able to en- like really enjoy sex um or fuck for that matter because they were circumcised but for women it's 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 worse you know it, it's worse and that's why but i'm really with him in regards to saying that um you know i feel children ought not to be circumcised this is something that you only ought to do under your consent like oh i'm aware of this is what i'm yes. doing this is what i want to do yeah. this is the reason i'm doing it yeah. you know mm. um, and if you don't want to do it your culture should not out cast you and tell you that now you're not a man enough you don't deserve inheritance you don't deserve you know those kind of things i, I think it's it's crazy mm. yeah so thank you guys uh, for that <laughs> I'm so, so shocked at some of the things that Aga <laughs> George has been saying about about the dick you've really studied it man yeah shout but, um, out to you <laughs> <laughs> you you're being stupid <laughs> <laughs> but, but 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 truly but speaking the guy the guy is really yeah and you're very you're very passionate about it and i, I feel like yeah, i feel yeah. like, I'm every, like every i'm like i'm like having, having, having listened to your explanation i think every woman should 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 be up in arms yeah to preserve, what's happening to preserve the dick what, what's happening you find so many people are not talking about uh the dangers of circumcision or have or have it happens because they're cut way too earlier before to they know uh, to know yeah. so that also con- contributes to it you you are cut too early to know anything so you can't there can't be media about something that you can't fight for something that you don't even know yet you don't understand the yeah. difference so and and then the cultures even when when you, when you read online google something about orgasms you will only just see women results about women coming up it's like culturally or na- na- naturally orgasms are just left for a thing that people talk about when it's in relation to we women mm-hmm. if a man if you can have sex and have children that's enough for society mm. yeah you know but you should not take away uh, the ability of someone to experience sex as holy as it was supposed to be uncapped just because of anything yeah. don't take that choice away from a child yes watch a woman taught us ki ngono venye na fakukua let them have the foreskin let them experience what it's like to have the foreskin yeah. all right don't mm. take that ch- chance away mm. and teach them mm. teach parents so that they can know mm. yeah. yeah okay great so i think uh, any last words my my good man do not circumcise your children do not circumcise your children all right uh, thank you very much people of the internet thank you very much uh, for everybody that has been watching my request to you if you have watched this video up to this juncture is that I would like people to subscribe. You'd like you to subscribe to this channel because the things that we are saying here are great conversations that I think that you have enjoyed. And one of the ways through which the internet works is that Google likes algorithms. So if you comment the better, if you like the video the better, if you subscribe the better, Facebook, uh, Google will think that this is something that is interesting and should be shared to a big audience. So please subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell and until another video ciao for now